Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to jailbreak iOS 14.8.1 and install Sidget. So the jailbreak we'll be using is a hardware level jailbreak. This means you can jailbreak any iOS 14 firmware. If you're running any other 14 firmware, you'll be good to go while watching this tutorial. However, not all devices are supported. So to check if we are supported, you just want to open up settings, then find general, then find about. And under modern name, you need to be running iPhone 10 and older. So if you have the 10s, 10R series, you will not be supported. Any newer devices are not supported as well. As long as you're running iPhone 10 and older, you'll be able to jailbreak iOS 14.8.1 without any issues. Next, you can see for this tutorial, I'm using software version 14.2. But again, keep in mind, all iOS 14 firmwares are supported. And with that being said, the final requirement is you will need access to a computer. So this tutorial will be showing the process on the Mac. If you want to jailbreak on Windows, my Windows tut uh, tutorial is in the description down below. And with that being said, I'm going to move to my Mac and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 14.0.1 and install Cydia. On the computer, there's just one link you need. It will be in the description down below. Uh, in the description, I'll be using a link short to know. It just helps support the channel, uh, you know, a bit of revenue. Uh, if you, for whatever reason, are unable to navigate the link short to know, then all we need to go to is just check ra.in right here. Uh, once you're on this page, uh, we're just going to click on uh, get the beta now. And then we can see check rain and download for Mac OS. Now, here's the deal, right? At the time of recording, our check rain is only available for Mac OS and Linux. Uh, currently, that means if you're on Windows, you are unable to install check rain onto your Windows computer. However, it is very possible to get a bootable USB, install Linux on your Windows PC, and then run check rain in Linux and then jailbreak via there. Uh, I will have a tutorial on how to do that in the description uh, down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on download for Mac OS right here. And we'll just wait for uh, this download to start. And then we see check rain beta. We're just going to tap on save file. Okay. And then you can see the download is going to start here. All right. Once the download has completed, just click on the DMG. Uh, we just want to wait for Apple to verify this isn't the virus. And then we see check rain right here. We just want to drag it to applications. And if you've ever downloaded check rain before, you're going to see this pop up. Just click on replace. And it says check rain's already open. So I'm just going to quit check rain. And I'm just going to repeat this process. And there we go. Now it worked. And so we're just going to go to applications. We're going to find check rain and follow this closely, right? Right click on check rain, click on open. And um, if you see any pop ups, there we go. Check rain cannot be opened. Then click on cancel. Right click again, open again, open again. And now check rain should open up without any uh, issues. Now, uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to move to the iPhone cam now and I'm going to show you the next steps to uh, jailbreak your device. All right, so I've connected my device and you will notice I get this error saying that my device is not supported. So if you have A11 iPhone, such as the iPhone 8, 8 Plus or iPhone 10, you will need to do an extra step. Don't do this if you have the older devices. Click on options and then enable skip A11 BPR check. For all devices, make sure to enable allow untested versions and enable verbose boot, then go back. Now, what I want you to do is if you have the A11 devices, there's another step to do as well. You just want to go to settings and then you want to scroll down until you see, where is it? Touch of the impasse code or face of the impasse code. Tap on this and you just want to disable your passcode. So we're going to turn off the passcode, enter that in and boom. Now, while you are jailbroken, you will not be able to use a passcode. There is a jailbreak tweak to get around this. Um, I will just mention that at the end of the video. So make sure the passcode is turned off if you have those uh, devices. Otherwise, just click on start, next, and then your device will enter into recovery mode. So we'll give it a little bit, wait for it to do its thing. And after that, we will need to enter the few mode. If this does not enter recovery mode successfully, just restart your Mac, restart your phone, try again. Now we need to enter DFU mode. All we need to do is just follow the instructions on screen. So we click on start and then just follow the instructions. So do that now. And eventually your device should enter into DFU mode. So you can see. Boom. There you go. Device enter DFU. And once you do that, now the jailbreak process will start. So I think this is very important to say right now. If you are unable to enter DFU mode, you try like five times and it's not working. Most likely the reason why is because you're using a USB type C to your uh, lightning cable. If you use that, that will not work. You will need to buy an adapter and then you'll need to use a USB type A to uh, lightning cable. <laughs> Just looking at my beds and like, 
Man, this is my this is my dog's doing, right? Took all the mud on my uh, on my sheets. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, right, let's unlock the device. And you should see, any moment now, check range of chops. I already have Sidia because I've done this before. Uh, if you're doing this for the first time, you will not see Sidia. So uh, you just need to wait for the check range application to show up on the home screen. And you can see, there it is. Just tap on this, it will open up the loader. Tap on Sidia and then install Sidia. Wait for this to complete, it will automatically close, and then you'll see Sidious should be right here. And once you've done that, you're good to go. You can see I have successfully jailbroken and Sidious has installed. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.